welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me in another little episode here in Icarus guys this um, will be a small episode we're gonna take a look at what update 118 just brought in so let me pull up this guy here and we're gonna start looking at it so welcome to week 118 Continuing work, blah, blah, blah. Research network update. Okay. Improvements. Total growth speed indicator for crop plot inspection UI. Okay. So if I close this window, we're back into the game. You can see in here my lovely exotics. <laughs> uh, for harvest. Okay. Growth speed. 0% that's what it is about uh, i got some mushrooms in here growing 150 percent so this is what we are interested in of course uh, i will do my best to keep growing those exotics unfortunately i can get only one harvest out of them more and after that bye 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 if i put this guy in here the fertilizer come on fifteen percent that's all there is after this uh batch I can rip them off no more exotics for me all the plants are gone dead good stuff let's look at the other majigi uh in here railing orientation on our all floor pieces so now railings will be can uh to will be the correct orientation especially on stairs issue with water troughs uh where the water will not appear in the mesh okay two missions fix the calls perfect process a recipe icon width so the width of the icons nice good for the blind people like me improved ui prompts and tooltips for dirt mounts noxious crust and red exotics uh, okay i don't know how the ui tips were before but i put a hole in here a mound so i'm guessing it's these guys in here bye bye Red exotics, we have some up top. I think they modified something with them. Either these guys or these guys. I don't know. They have something modified with them. And it was noxious crust. We don't have railings. We have some railings in here. Let's see about those. So... Um, R. Oh, now this is good. This is looking really good. I like it. Let's put some up top of here. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. A I don't like that those poke through my ceiling, but I mm, guess I could put some beams in there, make it nice and dandy. Very nice. I like it. I like it. Let's get back to the update. Where was the goddamn update? I lost it. Now we're getting into the nasty stuff in here. So, update Olympus and sticks weather events to use Prometheus style scaling weather with more varied modifiers and less reduced movement speed because on Olympus and Styx you had only speed decrease okay reduced movement speed right now you're gonna have a lot more modifiers looking forward to dropping into Olympus to see exactly what we got in there but it ain't gonna be as pretty as it used to be. That's a normal Eucharist team in there. Added an inspect option to pre 
power devices without inventories such as solar panels, wind turbines and batteries. We'll inspect those in a minute. Now comes the nasty part. So, focusing on bugs fixes, thank you very much. Balance and improvements mm -hmm. to the new resource network, such as they fixed a bunch of stuff in here. Thank you very much. Now, we've introduced the feature where power and water output fluctuate based on the current storm. So each time you got a storm, your power and water will fluctuate. Wind turbines now generate more power during most type of storms with a maximum power output during wind storms. So when you're gonna have a wind storm, they will make more power, which is just amazing. Uh, the base power has remained the same. So we still have 1,750. Snow, sand and ash storms will slow them instead. So you will have less production. How much less? I have no idea. When generating over 100% of their base power, they'll take damage over time based on the generator power. So if it's a bad storm and they're putting up like 200%, they'll get damaged. How much damage? I don't know. The good news is that they cannot be destroyed by this damage. The bad news is that the output is reduced based on their remaining durability. So what I understand is that those turbines will get damaged and slowly if they damage it's like 100 percent they will not produce any power so you'll have to go out there and fix them after each storm or i don't know if in a bad storm they only take 10 damage i'm guessing you can go for five six storms before fixing them we'll have to check that I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a storm soon enough here in Icarus. On Prometheus, I have like two per day, so it ain't gonna be an issue. The solar panels have been buffed to produce 6000 power. That's very good, thank you very much. They now generate slightly reduced power during most storm types, but will not receive any damage from those storms. Thank you. They even get an output boost during the swamps clearing wind storms uh haven't had that one before but not a swamp dweller in here i don't know nothing about those generators slightly less power in heat waves okay water wheels generate more power while it's raining but less during ash or snowstorm so ash it's in a desert if you're on a river uh, no it's in the volcanic area very interesting because we don't have running water like a river in uh, a volcanic area but maybe we're gonna have in the next big update we'll see or snowstorms 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 are only in the arctic there is a place I can think about on Prometheus where you have running water. So you could put one of those, but whatever. Water pumps and water borers have reduced water flow during snow. Okay. And a little less during hail. We got a bunch of that. And heat waves. We don't have a bunch of that. Here, yeah, but we have heat waves in the volcanic area, so reduced water flow. Okay, these changes are to you. Uh, sorry, misread. Are to encourage diversity in energy networks, and will evolve based on feedback and community interactions. Whatever. They fixed a couple of missions in here. Looking for for the brambles. This will be really interesting to see and test that's about all there is about this update so let me close that window for you perfect now let's see about those 
uh, inspections. So if I come in here and I press inspect, you see in here how much is stored out of uh, this magic If let me drop those railings because I don't want them in my inventory yet. So if I inspect the network, uh, electrical. Now you got this magic in here. Okay, showing you the, the supply, how it's going to the demand, but it's not going to the storage because that storage is filled up. Now you have the possibility to turn on and off stuff around here. For example, my uh, material processor, it's just in here, idle, okay? I can unplug it and it's off. Off. If I come to no matter what node, I can turn it on. So now it's an idle state. Amazing. Let's test how that flow works. For example, in here. So 29500, I'm using 17. Okay, so let's stop those two solar panels. 17500 uh stop some wind turbines you see now we're drawing power from the storage minus okay let's stop more turbines good stuff minus 8000 whatever when i inspect this one it's telling me what i would like to have it's in here another little box telling me my friend, this is going to be enough for exactly that many hours, minutes, whatever. You know, that will be really useful. Or if not in there, then in here somewhere. Uh, one hour left. Something like that, you know. Nevertheless, let's power up all the majigis in here. And now this one, exactly this one moves in here towards the storage. Recharging with 300 and now on please. We're charging with 10,000. Perfect. Looking just amazing. Just amazing. Now let's go out. Gotta eat, gotta drink. Okay. Let's go out there. Up there. Oh, looks like uh, in here the weather it's. Uh, we're gonna have a storm really soon, so amazing. Let's go to our wind turbines and solar panels and see what we're gonna have. How does it look first? So, inspect. Providing 1750, perfect. Guessing the same stuff. Yeah. And solar panel. Providing 6,000. Now, all I gotta do is wait for a storm. Uh, that's gonna happen in a minute or two. And um, see exactly how much damage these guys will take. I'm gonna stay inside the base until that storm hits. And we're gonna... Um, we're gonna check it out. from the inside from the network after that we're gonna make our way again up there and um, check if something changed in that ui i wanted to check if i have the possibility to rename my drills i have two drills off hmm why are they off oh so they are filled up that's why they're off I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, it must be the aluminum and the um, sulfur. This one is the aluminum, this one is the sulfur. So this one, I don't know, must be the silica. But I cannot rename, rename them yet. Let's go and check the silica real fast because I think that one is filled up. Because the copper and the iron here, I just collected them. So let's go for the silica and see if I can 
rename them. I don't think so, but we'll check it out. Yeah, she's filled up. So offline request 2000 interact. Uh, take on. Perfect. Well, see you guys when that storm hits. Didn't even make it home. Guess what? Light hell. I would have liked this uh, announcement of weather events to come like, I don't know, one minute before the storm, something like that. Because like this, they are pretty useful. I mean, in exactly the second the storm starts, uh, you get the announcement. I mean, really, it's really obvious. If you'd have the announcement like, I don't know, half a minute before, a minute before, it would have been really useful. Like this, it's useless, okay? But it is what it is. Maybe they'll fix that, let's see. Good stuff. Everything is dark, of course. Let me dump all that goddamn silica in here. And everything I picked. The drops, basically. And let's inspect our electricity magic in here. But a note, doesn't matter which one. So, nothing changed. Basically, on the wind turbines, nothing changed. Oh! Ah, make me a liar. So, solar panels dropped uh, 180 power. And these guys increased with 105 power each. How about the water pumps? Where are my water pumps? Electric water pumps. They are using the same amount, but how much water do they put? Where's my tool? Who stole my tool? Come in here. Oh, actually, I think we can. Uh, yeah, let's let Jesus Christ. Let's switch it and see here. So we are using. A thousand power. No, we are putting a thousand power. So, n unaffected by the hail. Unaffected by the hail. Off. Perfect. Unaffected. The water pumps. What do you know? Did they change the UI for those as well or not? Inspect. Uh, storm exposure. Inspect, I said. Well, I'm trying to inspect them, but nothing happens. So, no UI for this one. It puts you in a menu in here where you can see absolutely nothing. Amazing. Good stuff. Curious about how much damage this is taking. Uh, electricity, please. So, increased a little with the storm. Decreased. Oh, it's changed back. Okay. Yeah. So the storm is not as bad as it could be. Quite curious when the storm is over. How much damage these guys will have because they've been producing with a hundred and something more each. This one less. So this one, the solar panel should have no damage at all. And these guys should have some damage when the storm will be over which is gonna happen in a minute these guys the wind turbines should fall back to 1750 minus the percent of the of damage it's affecting the output so we're gonna see exactly how much they'll drop i'm thinking you know, these guys should remain the same as 6,000. Quite curious about those. How is going to be? Nevertheless, future gameplay, I think I want 
another three of these guys because uh, this is only gonna get worse from now on so I will have I would like to have three more of these I'm already on the last mission here on Prometheus so I'm gonna have four more solar panels as a drop from the last mission uh, not worry about power will not build anything else but I would like to have three more of this just to put them in here connect them looks like our storm it's over uh, still registering as a storm although you can get outside and you have no effect maybe that sun's gonna have to go all the way through let's wait for it okay so the little uh, magic screen in there with the storm is gone we are producing as per usual so from what I understand, looking okay, this, my wind turbines didn't get damaged, or the damage, it's less than normal, and they're producing the normal amount. Now one of that it's in the shade, the other one is not. It's kind of late. It's eight. Uh, let me close that door. Did you get damaged? Uh, where's my Majigi? In here? Okay. Yep, just a tiny bit. Good stuff. Let's sleep for the night. Uh, okay. Deactivate, please. Let's take another peek at this one. So, still we don't have sun up there because it's too early in the morning. Oh, it just happened. Perfect. So that one is fully charged. 1750. So no difference whatsoever in the output. That is just amazing. Gotta love it. Let's go up and take a look at them. If they have been damaged by this storm. Light hail. Okay. So we didn't have lightning. Or, or I don't know what else. This, uh, the second storm in here, looks pretty bad. Quite interesting how that one is gonna be. But I think that one's gonna happen only tomorrow. In game, like. Let's see. So, they are at 99%. Inspect the same thing. Uh, so, it took 1% damage. I'm not sure I want to fix them. Uh, two four eight eight out of two thousand five hundred. Hmm, not much. Twelve. I'm not sure I want to fix them. Honestly, not sure I want to fix them. Um. This one no damage. I'm not sure I want to fix them. I would like to have that big storm in it. On. And see after that what's gonna happen. But oh, I will check that one by myself. Oh my god. Amazing. Uh, I will check that one by myself and see what is that all about. By the time I publish this video, I think that one is gonna happen. And I will let you know down in the comments how much damage I had on those turbines in total. So, without ignoring uh, fixing this one, I'll look at the others. And I'll tell you after those two storms that are gonna pass, the one that is just coming and the other one which is a biggie what kind of storms they were and how much damage in total i had on those wind turbines also i will let you know down in comments if this output in here has been affected or not yeah i think that will be the best thing ever so thank you guys for being here for watching this if you like it please subscribe to the channel Thank you to the guys' comments. Thank you to our members. 
I'll see you into the next one. Take care of you all. Bye now.